The company that I am doing for marketing vignette one is BP Gas and Oil. Recently, they've had a lot of struggles with their marketing, if they even have any marketing. But I know in Ohio, they've had some gas stations been, been shut down around me. And I feel like they need the help. And so the topic that I am going to cover with them is product. I'm going to provide them two business recommendations with product. One, I think they can do a lot more investing in renewable energy sources. Right now they have, they, they claim to be a oil company or gas company that's better for the earth and like more, ef not like efficient, just like efficient in letting out toxins and whatnot. But uh, I feel like if they invested in more renewable energy and they had more like gas or oil that was uh, let or it left like less of a carbon footprint on the earth, then that would help their remarketing and their, their rebranding strategy. And it would be a new product that they could put out there saying like this gas was made from renewable energy and uh, they can use like solar and wind power and help that um, boost their product into the future. The other idea that I thought of was um, adding electric charging stations to BP and making it kind of a like fancy, like a more modern and scale it towards higher end customers of people who have like electric cars like Tesla and stuff like that and have like a super nice gas station that would like have food and stuff in it and like it's more like a lounge instead for um, for people with electric cars so they can charge. Because I know right now there's not many places where you, you could go to charge your vehicle and then like hang out. It's more like you're going somewhere and they happen to have a charging station nearby or you have, you, bear, you rarely use like a charging station if, uh, at places where there's like nothing to do. But um, I feel like having this modern like style of like a restaurant slash lounge at BP and having charging stations, you can still have your gas station and uh, cause that's where they make most of their money. But, um, and you could combine the two between the renewable energy and this <laughs> like modernized gas station. I know there's a couple examples that are starting to become more modernized, like gas stations, like super clean. Um, I forget the name of one, Tops, I think. No. There's one at, in Ohio that's a uh, very fancy chain that just started popping up everywhere where they have like food and they cook burgers and you can get like, up, not upper scale, but like higher scale, higher quality food for, um, at gas stations and I think this would be if you were going to add electric charging stations you're going to know that the people that are buying electric cars are going to have the money to sit down and um, spend it you would have to do a lot of beta testing I feel like because the, the response that you could get from people could be very different I could see people absolutely being like why would I want to stop here. I'm just trying to get to my place, get back and charge my car at home. And that's the thing about the battery life. It just keeps expanding in cars and it just keeps getting better for how long you can drive. And so unless you're going on like a huge road trip, it, it wouldn't be like the most necessary. And that's why I think leaving the gas station part of it would help. So people that would go to the gas station could also use this like super nice lounge area and um, it'd be quite an investment but I feel like it would pay off um, especially if you use the renewable energy sources and invest more in them because then you could run 
<clears throat> like all the electricity off of solar and wind power um, at your different different places. Right now, um, they're not very global. And I think if you would add like BPs around airports, maybe not globally, like at first, but um, <clears throat> if you start adding them around airports, because then rental cars often have to use gas stations. And uh, so you put one right there, fill it up before you bring it back so you don't get charged, that type of thing. But also airports have layovers. And what do you look for? A lounge. And so if you put it nearby, like right next to an airport, where you could get in, stay there for like a decent while. Like it's almost like a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say hotel, but like a, like a massive two story lounge basically at these airport places. So you can have like the top floor be like an actual lounge and look over and like a chill place, watch the planes fly by and whatnot. But then the bottom part of it is like still that gas station, like get your food, get your snacks, and all that. And I think that it would be something to experiment at first because right now you're just seen as a gas company, oil company, and this is more towards like the electric side and using almost like a totally different audience. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I think it could be interesting for them and it's like a new product they could try because Right now they're going down in the gas and oil world and and also renewable energies are becoming more popular than ever. So, you know, that's what I think would be two business recommendations and rationales. Um, yeah.